All right, guys, we've got Noodle here, our professional player. He's going to be up against one silver here in round number one. We're going to see, can he win it? I'm sure that he can, but you never know. SSG on the Maverick. He does have the Black Ice right now, so he's going to have that good luck charm. He's going to be up against Noodle, but Noodle is on Fenrir right now, and Fenrir is a great operator when it comes to... 1v1s so noodle will be able to effectively cover a bunch of different entry points without really needing to actually cover it himself ssg going to maverick in and wow noodle gets taken out no way noodle gets taken out round one ladies and gentlemen we're gonna keep going because the way that this is gonna work is if noodle loses to any of the silvers so right now we're on the 1v1 then we're going to send the same guy in again to 1v1 Noodle for a second time. And until Noodle wins one round, he is not able to move up. Does that make sense? So for basically for Noodle to win, he needs to try to make it to five silvers. All right, the challenge for Noodle here is he's going to have to try to get through at least to the 1v5. But he has to do that before the game is over. Right now, he's going to have to win yet another 1v1. He hasn't been able to do it yet in the first round. Maverick able to take him out. I told you, the Black Ice is a good luck charm. Noodle off of Fenrir this time. Going to go for Oryx. And Noodle really needing to win this round is if he wants to progress to the next stage, the next level, and progress to the 1v2, he needs to win the 1v1 first. Fire like that. No, he's gonna go upstairs. He's gonna hold you from upstairs. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's, he's upstairs right now. Wait, can, are we allowed to? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Noodle is pushing up to the green hall window. He'll narrowly miss the head of SSG and now running outside a big tower door will again miss the shots on SSG. Both players remaining on the full HP. But Noodle is relentless. He's trying to find any potential angle onto SSG, but. He's already rotated off. He's going to be by a small tower now. And it looks like he's going to go front door. You can just zip around everywhere. He's got to risk it, bro. Just like, it's not that serious. Yeah, just turn it on. Just turn it on. I mean, we're kind of meant to lose anyway. Less. I swear to God, get in the it's building, like bro. Hey, pretty long. You yeah. know, just fucking... SSG going to be trying to Maverick into Garage. We saw him do this last round. And he was actually able to take Noodle out after doing so but only having garage control so far it does not have the map control necessary to take noodle out so far as noodles all the way back down into the site and he was able to make some rotates upstairs which is going to keep ssg guessing speaking of ssg he's only got a minute left and he's going to be using it to push down laundry stairs going for an A push, but Noodle is here and he's ready for that. He's going to be sitting close inside of Laundry. 45 seconds left. SSG, he knows he needs to push. He's running out of time and he knows it, but he has no clue where Noodle is. And Noodle knows all he has to do is sit and be patient. As SSG pushes in, he's not even going to look at Noodle. And the dash from Noodle comes out on Oryx, knocking the silver player out, completely humiliating him. In the corner. Oh, oh my God. That is Noodle. crazy. That is crazy. And great comeback for Noodle here after that loss on the first round. And now we're going to move up to the 1v2. All right, we're on to the 1v2. So SSG going to be staying in the fight here, but he's going to be joined by WXTR, who's pushing already deep into big tower opening up the attic wall now potentially trying to push aggressively into attic and right now that grim player just trying to finish himself off so that the rest of them can 1v2 noodle pushing into attic trying to make sure that wxtr is not able to push in and there we go the kill for noodle and now he's just back to 1v1ing ssg like he's been for the past two rounds this is nothing new to him ssg gonna break the master door and noodle hears that he's gonna throw a c4 and that will miss both players full hp and ssg has a minute and 50 seconds to do whatever he'd like to do he's also the hard breacher 
So you can easily open up the master wall and apply a lot of pressure into the site. SSG gonna rotate off of master bow and try to push towards the trophy stairs. Noodle rotating back into site, trying to make some holes into the white wall so that he's able to look through them and defend against the trophy push, which is where SSG is now located. Inside of master, now trophy. Trying to grab an angle onto Noodle, but SSG never shot the default cam, so Noodle will be using that to his advantage, trying to figure out exactly where SSG is now, but he's opening up the wall in Master, and like I mentioned before, that's going to apply a lot of pressure now onto Noodle and the site. He's going to be forced to watch one extra angle, but with SSG shooting, he'll give away his location, and with only 50 seconds left... He does have plenty of time, but he does need to use it wisely. He's going to swing and... Oh, no. SSG will take Noodle out again. We might need to give this man a contract. Oh, nice. I'm sorry. No I'm, nice. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Everybody was so quiet. All right. So it's going to be Dapper subbing in for SSG. Is Noodle wants to sub him out. Noodle just says SSG's too good, I guess. He's a supercharged silver player. So Dapper's going to sub in for this round now. Noodle's still going to have to win this 1v2 if he wants to progress on to the 1v3. And to be honest with you guys, he really cannot afford to lose this round right now as the silvers will go to match point. But a beautiful grenade from underneath. Noodle will take out WXTR. And now it's all of the Dapper who pushes down white stairs. He'll destroy the drone from Noodle. He's going to be playing passive, holding an angle right now. Two minutes left. Noodle has plenty of time to work with. No grenades. He does have a drone, but he's going to be on the top of White Stairs. And what is he doing? He's completely lost. He doesn't realize that Dapper's in sight right now on the bunks. But Noodle will swing in, and he's going to grab that kill to Dapper. And finally, Noodle, Noodle able to win the 1v2. Moving on to the 1v3 now. Or some shit. Oh. Oh. Taking a look at the scoreboard, Noodle 4 and 2 right now. SSG, the only silver player with kills is, well, he's been the only one able to take Noodle out so far. That swap was obviously the play for Noodle here, but here's the thing, guys. SSG is not going to be out of the game for very long. The more rounds Noodle wins, the more silver players he has to win against the next round. So this is only going to get harder and harder. Take a note at the score. It is 2-2. Two to two, So Noodle has tied things up. But this round is going to be very important as this round will determine who gets match point. Noodle definitely does not want to allow the Silvers to have match point because that means he's forced to win the next round. He cannot make any mistakes. And you never want to be in that sort of position. He wants to grab match point. That way, if he does make a mistake in one of these rounds, he has a round to lose. He can afford to do that. But we'll see what he does here in round number one. He's going to be picking up Lion. Let's see how he does. All right, Noodle's going to be on the master balcony right now. Invert Repel trying to hold into Trophy. And Dapper's going to be swinging in Trophy, and he'll get taken out. He didn't realize that Noodle was Invert Repel like that. And now two silver players are left for noodle to find will he be able to win the 1v3 so far he's got one he's doing great two more scans he'll use one of them that way he's able to drone and get some more information he'll spot out idk on the thorn but oh wow noodle flicking onto wxtr through the wall he'll grabs the kill onto the warden player and now it's all left to thorn idk swinging the trophy holes right now it doesn't look like noodle realizes that but he'll swing in. Now he definitely knows where IDK is. It's going to be a straight gunfight battle here. And Noodle, our pro player, will win it. Now it's going to get really difficult. 1v4 time. All right. Noodle here in potentially the last round. He could actually maybe avoid playing the fifth silver player if he wins this round. But he's not going to. Because... WXTR is doing silver things. Prone in garage. Who else do you see do this but a silver player? Well, regardless, great round there by WXTR. 
making sure that the silver players get back to OT and avoiding that match point that Noodle had. Things are going to get tied up 3-3 three to three now, and we'll see how Noodle responds. All right, WXTR is going to hop out of Armory, and oh my god, he's going to take Noodle out again. Back-to-back -back rounds. Noodle's going to go down, and now the Silvers have the match point, or they're going to win for some reason because the custom game settings are messed up, I guess. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We had an issue with the settings. So I know it said that the Silvers won, but that's not how ranked works. You don't win at 4-3. You have to win by two rounds, meaning the Silvers need to win this round right here if they want to take this victory. But Noodle's going to be trying to stop that from happening, and he's going to be up against four Silvers. Last round. He did get spawn peaked by the Warden. But this round, Warden is inside of Classroom. And Noodle is droning. He was droning from the front door. I'm not sure if he droned out WXTR on the Warden below or not. But this could be an issue regardless if Noodle pushes above or below. As WXTR does have the C4. So if Noodle goes into Master, he can C4 from below. But oh no! Wow! Fenrir all the way from Big Tower on the window. It looks like Noodle just repelled up and didn't even notice that the window was open. And he'll get taken out. Very unfortunate. So it looks like four silvers are enough to take out one pro player. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Big thank you to Noodle for coming out and playing in the video. Make sure you guys follow him. His socials will be linked down below in the description. It really would mean a lot to me and him if you guys gave him a follow. But with all that being said, once again, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.